Hi. Today we are going to see one more transformation from Informatica that is router transformation. A router transformation is similar to filter transformation because both transformations allows us to use a condition to test data. But by using the filter transformation we can test only one condition and it drops the rows of data that do not meet the condition but by using the router transformation we can test data for one or more condition and also it gives us an option to route the data that do not meet any of the condition okay that do not meet any of the conditions router transformation in a map it helps us to avoid using the multiple filter transformations if you want to test more than one condition you have to use more than one filter transformation so instead of that we can go for router transformation actually router transformation consists of input and output groups that output group is further divided into user defined group and default group we will see now this is the input what we receive it this is the uh, specimen of the router transformation what we are saying uh, here and these are all the input ports where we receive data from the previous transformations and this entire thing the number two is the input group these are all the France Japan and US these are all the user defined output groups and this number four is the output ports and the final thing is the default output group that do not meet the condition will be routed over here in but in the filter transformation it will drop here we can route the rows to the target okay now we will see one example in the informatica then i will explain you everything okay how can we create the router transformation in a mapping here already i have created one mapping the source and target already you know how to create it there is no need to tell it uh, tell again and again how to create the that uh, source and target okay here directly we will go into the uh, router transformation here I have already created one router transformation I will explain you the router transformation can be created by clicking this one here if you go over here this is the icon for the router transformation okay by clicking this you can create the router transformation or by creating this uh, by clicking the transformation menu we can create by using this we can create the router transformation here is the router transformation by this way also we can create the router transformation and the naming convention for the router transformation is RT or it should begin with the uh, that uh, name RTR RTR underscore and uh, for uh, expression transformation it is EXP underscore for filter transformation transformation it is FIL underscore here it is RTR underscore by using this rename we can rename the default transformation name here the ports the input port and output port there are only two ports available but here there is one tab available called groups here only we are going to create the user defined groups that can be created with the help of this one okay by clicking this we can create a new group already I have created that group and uh, for example we have taken the country table 
the source data is country table and the data is available over here in Oracle we have to issue this query and this contains the country's data this contains around 25 rows and region ID is there and the uh, table uh, region table is also there this region ID that one means uh, it's Europe one means zero two means America and three means Asia and four means Middle East Africa and we are going to route the rows according to the region and and I have created the four targets over here okay but here I have created only three groups one group for Europe and one group for America and one group for Asia for Middle East and Africa I have not created the group as we are testing the multiple condition if it satisfies these three conditions then it the rows are routed according to the uh, that uh, region code what I have given in the group and it will go to the America Asia and Europe for Middle East that do not meet the condition that means that uh, if the condition fails means that uh, um, rows will come over here that is default uh, group the default group contains the data for Middle East and Africa that is routed to the target actually and if you don't want the Middle East and Africa data means you can disconnect this one and uh, there is no need to create a target we can simply leave as it is so that three region data will be routed and the last uh, region Middle East and Africa it won't be routed to the target so there is no need to connect it to the target this one so that it will drop the records now we will see how it is getting executed for each and every map if we need to execute means we need one workflow the workflow can be easily created by using this create and we need one session task for that that can be created over here using the create session task and it should be linked and the map is already created so that we can link the map with the session task and session task we have to configure and uh, here the connection properties need to be specified for all the targets and uh, source qualifier also we have to specify it and in target we have to make sure that target load type is normal it should not be bulk and that insert should be tick as we are inserting the data okay and we have to click it ok and we have to start executing it and we have to monitor the job in the workflow monitor it's getting automatically started okay we're meeting some problem uh, we can connect it and we'll, we'll see and that router okay uh, actually it has got the job has got executed and uh, yet we will see the data in the target okay the data has got uh, populated in the target in the region America that uh, countries related to America has been routed into the target and in the Asia the Asia five uh, countries are uh, there and for uh, Middle East and Africa the countries are populated okay 
okay but it might be that uh, australia might be different region code um, it's populated over here and all rest of the things are uh, the uh, african countries okay all data is routed according to the condition what we specify in the router transformation okay this is the way um, we have to use the router transformation thanks